and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Hell Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge. We're Ben and I are trying to three star every cup of randomly chosen carts and characters. We three starred in the last episode. We're on a hot streak. We are on a basic hot streak. Uh, we finished the Frogger Cup. You! You did most of the bulk! Uh, it you was were like uh, three of the four. I got so many like congratulatory <laughs> tweets over the weekend. People were like, "I'm so proud of you." Oh, oh me too, man. Ken. Me too. Thank Looks you, like you you must have had a controller swap. Or I came something. and stole some of the controllers over the weekend so that I could play at home okay. with friends. Which, by the way, if you play 200 CC with you all the time. You're so good compared to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask. I was like, were you like, were you like so good? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like the way that everybody always treats you around video games is the way that they were treating me. They were <laughs> like, like, this isn't even fun. They're like, look, he plays this professionally. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to make sure we turn off your safety settings. Uh, can we get some numbers? We can. 23. I got a little silver faults and silver Oh no. Ooh. Oh, for me. Boring. I'm player. Oh, at least oh make wait. A, oh, you could be you. I can be Jay. I'm gonna be Jay. Oh, I don't know if he totally looks Gosh, like me. what a total nerd. He's got kind of like a fat head going. <laughs> oh. Whatever. It's probably the helmet. The helmet's the problem. <laughs> 18. Oh, you got baby Rosalina. What? The cart I just had was a randomly chosen thing when we were live streaming last Friday. And it was like amazing. This is the thing I'm sitting in now. It was amazing with Baby Rosalina. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Really liked it. Huh. It seems like it'd be a good Pinewood Derby car. Mm. <laughs> For sure. Four. I made it to regionals one year in the Pinewood Derby. Hold on. I don't know if I did that right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wee. Standard bike. 29. Boom. Oh, look at this. Oh, Hilarious. Oh, boy. 11. Wee. Okay. All right, it's doable. It's a fun rig. It's it fun works. Rig. Uh, we'll see. Not too shabby. Hilarious tire. Six for Ben. Try speeder. Fourteen. Okay. This is a crimson slim. Three. All right, good handling. Okay, this is not yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so it's a little tricky because of the way we do this, but we have got this one. We've got these first four done. We uh, that one's cleared despite we it saying one star. Because we dual flower. Because we dual flower. Or, we, no, yeah. wait. I'm sorry. Dual first. Place dual first place. It's same case with the Frogger Cup over here. Dual first place. So really, we have just got the Star Cup, the Special Cup, and the Triforce Cup. I think left. Whew. We have three. Okay. Three. Okay. We're gonna do the Star Cup today, and maybe today will be the day, Ben. Maybe we're gonna hit two in a row on the three stars. Could it happen? It could happen. All right. I'm Who feeling. Knows? I'm feeling good. Got baby Rosalina and yeah. some type of hot rod looking car. This is gonna be great. I've got Jay with cushion tires. That's your thing. That's, yeah, that's that's my <laughs> jam. Everyone knows. I'm, I'm tough as cushions. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here we go! Off to a good start. Alright, question number one from Luna oh. Martin. Oh no, it's not. How do I meet new people? I can't join the cross country team since I have chronic illness, so you'll have to come up with something else. Oh, oh. how is that right? I feel like people at this point they're like playing the game, they're like gaming like, yeah. the system a little bit. Like people are tired of well, first off, um, for those of you who are listening to this advice and can join the cross country team, you should do that. <laughs> um, to this other person, hmm, very fascinating. Do we know anything else about her? Oh, uh, that is the whole question. That is the whole question, but she has, uh, what is the reasoning why she can't? Uh, chronic from? illness. I chronic don't know exactly chronic illness. My okay, goodness. all right, all right, okay. man. That's fair, that's fair. Um, I wonder if the chronic illness would still prevent you from any other type of, um, like, fitness-related activities, or oh, if, yeah. it's, if it would just be, like, cross country. So, like, I know we had, like, some asthma people on our team when we were, uh, fracking, fracking. back in the day, and, um... It made it really difficult for them. Like they were still able to to compete, but I think it really wasn't a big time challenge. So I'm just curious. yeah, okay, goodness. Yeah. Um, let's think here. How do I meet people? Um, I of... found that. Well, I know this isn't really for everyone, but um, you know, I found that church is a great way to meet people. Yeah, might that be good. True, might yeah. be good for your chronic illness too. Actually, it's super interesting. In terms I've, of like I've, morale, I've noticed that so much. You and Beth go to church, and I don't. Um, and I feel like so many of my friends have just become like y'all's church friends. <laughs> right. So it's my, like, my thank goodness they go to church because like <laughs> all my friends kind of depend on it. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you know someone who goes to church? Right. Yeah. yeah, friends, yeah. With them, friends with them. Friends with them. Yeah. Their there you go. Meet yeah, their just, friends. Just sort of That's all them. you got to do. You don't even have to go yourself. That's a that's a thing. 
Uh, but I mean, any kind of, of uh, group or club, I think you'll right. be able to meet like-minded people. Right. Yeah, the, absolutely. The, yeah, no. Of so I mean, that's that's really what it comes down to is like joining, just joining something, anything. Like be become become active. Yeah. Be a joiner. Be a joiner. Be a joiner. <laughs> yes. Don't. Oh, oh, how about head on the left? Man. Okay, time flies when you're tough as cushions. Tough as <laughs> cushions. <laughs> Sea Shore Shoals. Sea Shore Does that Shoals. Fit? Is that what we're about to play? I don't think so. No. I think this is. Oh, wow. It's Dolphin, Dolphin Shoals. Shoals. Dolphin Shoals. Ah. Okay, the trick on this one you have to not do a trick. Man, I don't like the proportions of this me. Um, not do the trick on the final jump so you can make the turn because you're going too fast. Ah, this interesting. Is, this is my hot tip. For hot the tip day. of the day. I like hot it. Tip. We you don't, don't want to take these jumps. We don't normally offer tips. You know, we, we yeah, just... people, you just got to let people watch and. Uh, <laughs> Figure Watch it out for themselves. All right. All right. Hoyan has a question. Hoyan, hey, what's up? Hey, brothers. So I need hey, hope. Yo. There is someone that I really, really like that I go to church with. Our hey, families hey. are really close, and his sister is my best friend. However, I'm 16, and I don't believe in dating before 18. It's just not an option. How do I stop liking him until the time is appropriate? And huh. don't say join cross country. <laughs> Everyone is... Okay, first of all, I'm feeling a little animosity about the cross-country <laughs> advice in this episode suddenly. It seems like people are unwilling to do the hard work. And, yes, uh, that is, know, that's what I'm hearing. That's, this is that is like, it's, it sounds like you, you just think it's going to be too hard to join the cross-country team. team and, um, uh, also, I'm kind of curious about... Um, I mean, I, I completely respect the fact that you wouldn't want to date until you were 18. There's Certainly a lot to be said for relationships prior to that, frequently not yielding uh, long-lasting results. Uh -huh. But, that being said, I also think that there are lots of like really good lessons to be learned. Oh yeah, like that's oh, uh, yes. a lot of ways how you learn how to be in a relationship. I agree. Right. There's the, the reason to date in high school isn't even... Oh, there's just no way that even just happened. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! I disagree with the premise! With the premise! Of your dumb boomerang. Oh no, 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 no. I just hit a banana peel so hard it wasn't even funny. Get I didn't laugh. It was a little funny. Oh. I'm not oh, laughing, DK. DK, was hilarious. DK is uh, against us. Yeah, but look, so uh, DK, if yeah. you don't mind me bringing up something um, sure. slightly personal in your life, since uh, we never do that. that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. A DK, rare insight into Derek's life. Uh, uh, <laughs> DK had an, an ex who I believe um, was. Um, it, oh, like, DK no, was no, the first no, person no, that no, they no, had no, dated. No, no, go. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, um, please. <laughs> I think what it meant was at the uh, you know age of like mid twenties maybe is that about right? Uh, I don't know who we're talking about yet, but um, you don't have to say a name, but we'll okay. figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It seemed like upon the breakup uh, in mid to late twenties, it was like the first one she went through, and as a result, she went through the same set of reactions uh, as you might go through when you're thirteen. When yeah, what like if you're if you're younger and. Like, I even, I could see reactions that I went through when I was, like, 15, where I would, sure, sure. you know, Facebook, or I guess at the time it was MySpace stock the person, oh, boy, and, like, right. constantly, <laughs> like, I would check my page, and then, like, one of the things I would religiously do would be go and check her page and, like, see, you know, who was commenting Who's on it, and check it. all the pictures check to see if pictures. somebody else had gone through and commented on all of her pictures and stuff. Like, and it, it was, like, obsessive behavior that isn't good, but... At the very least, I went through it at a younger age. Right, so, people understand yeah, yeah. why you're going through it when you're 13. When you're going through it when you're 20, and like people are going to take a lot of the things you say a lot more seriously. Right. But like mm, maybe they shouldn't because you're, you're uh, reacting to this the wrong way. Just that it's like you want to learn how to deal with being broken up with and all that stuff younger, so that it's um, not so terrible when you're older, and that you can handle like the the common situations of a relationship and realize what's serious and what's not, and What's well, worth being upset about and things like that. Exactly. So, the, I mean, the reason I bring it up is because, specifically because she said that, like, how do I get over him until we are of the appropriate age, um, you know, to, to date? Because, yeah. Uh, and, and that's also it's fair. Not, like, if there's, it sounds if like you disagree with her premise. Well, maybe, maybe. But, like, you know, if it's, if it's somebody that she feels like um, she knows at a certain age, like, things could then ultimately work out, then I would say it would be worth waiting. Like, if this is somebody that you're like, I recognize that I'm too young to date this person yet, and so I would want to wait. It sounds like maybe what you're saying, though, is that she should still date people in the meantime so that when that time comes... Ooh, okay, okay, I can double down on that advice. Yeah, maybe maybe see if you can't find interest in someone else, even if you don't date them. Um, ah. Like, attempt to be interested in somebody. Does that make there sense? There you go. 
That's practice yeah. practice having a crush on practice someone. Practice having a crush on someone. <laughs> like, you know. Everyone needs practice of that, right? No one's ever had crushes on people. So our, our, our advice for how to uh, deal with liking someone when you don't feel like you should get is to like somebody else. Like, someone, like somebody else, else. yeah. No, as a because, placeholder. Because there's, yeah, there's, there's like the real person you ultimately want to like, but you have to save it. Right, there you, you go, there it. you go. Um, actually, and I would say I would say there was somebody on our cross country team just to, to throw back to that who had a monster crush on me when we were in high school, and it was this girl that I almost felt like was was too good to date at oh, that point yep, in time. Yep, yep. It was like, you know what? Like I can't right now. Yeah, it's like yeah, I'm gonna you, ruin it. You, you are too real. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go find that person I can fix. <laughs> you're 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 already complete. I'm gonna have to ask you who that was at some point at the end of the episode. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, uh, NC twice seven two nine three. Hey guys, so hey. I was at a party which involved quite a bit of drinking. Uh -oh, One of uh -oh. my good friends got quite drunk, and I had to help her drink water and sit up straight. But as I was doing so, she kissed me a couple times on the neck while Whoa. I was mumbling no. something like "I love you." This startled me a little because I thought, though we were friends, kissing was out of character as far as I'm concerned. It has been a few days since this happened, and I don't know if. This is something worth pondering over. Any advice on what I should do? It, well, sounds it sounds like you're already pondering over it, my friend. Mm. I think I think probably what has happened here is um, it was somebody who you probably didn't think could catch feelings for you, and then you're like, whoa, hold on a second. Did that happen, and I didn't realize it? Um, that would be my interpretation of the situation. And so now you're like, is this in play, or is this something that just happened because she was because a Because she was like a little shocked. What, yeah. what was that word you just used? Schnockered. Schnockered? Schnockered. That's sure, the word sure, I sure. Used. Yep. Um, Slip mover, Jay. Thank you. I'm going to try and fly over these dumb logs that oh always get me. Dumb logs. I'm just getting everybody with their logginess. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Made it to um, In regards to... Yeah, this, is, this is always just a tricky situation. Did, like, have, have, I wonder if it's been brought up at all or if yeah, she yeah. remembers I don't, it. Do, do you, the, like, the, the, the question is, like, the the, does the... Uh, the, the, the kisser remember anything about her at all. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. It, to me, it seems like, well, it seems unlikely that they would have done this if they didn't have some sort of feelings for oh, the yeah. person, right? Right, I, and that's that's actually one of Ben's rules to life, is that oftentimes... Um, drunk you is drunk, the most honest you. Drunk you yeah. is typically a very honest you. Um, and <gasps> I, I do actually... Three star. Three star! Ass. Boom! Sorry. Boom! There Nicely did, There it is. Nicely did. There there it nicely is. did. Had to finish oh the race my myself. Gosh. All right. My heart is racing. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I've got the mushroom. Just don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Finished. Bam. Oh, yes. We did it. Well, you did it. We did it. I was just there. You were there. We were answering questions. Things are all happening. Was, all was well with the world. But no, I, yeah, I tend to think that, that people who are drunk tend to be uh, fairly honest. Uh, it sounds like this person could have been inching over into an area of less general awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would be, mm -hmm. would be my thought. So. so yeah, you are, you are. I think if if you are interested in the person, you may, you got to bring it up like it's a joke. Like, do you remember kissing me last week? That was weird, right? <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> or was it weird? Was because it? <laughs> turns out I loved it. Yeah, I just, I was like, I'm just, uh, I don't know. So, but right. then like, if you don't, uh, you can, that's also a great way to bring it up. Like, uh, it's kind of in like a joke. Like, do you remember kissing me last week? Man, you were hammered. Right, right, right. Or you can just look at it from a completely different perspective. Maybe this is a person you didn't know you had interest for. It happened and you were like, hang on a second. Like, what? It's like, like it put it into a certain perspective or a certain light that you hadn't realized. And so maybe now the question is, do you just like this person? And if so, like, maybe just, just address it that way. Be like, mm. hey, would you like to hang out? Just one on one sometime. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. We could grab a cup of coffee, grab some sushi. Coffee date. Right. Yeah. It, I have been in the situation where you were like you you didn't even you didn't have feelings for someone solely because in your mind it was just impossible. It, right. right. Yeah. Right, like yeah. this is this is never gonna happen, so it's not even worth thinking about. Right. And then all of a sudden, bam, turns out. Bam! Boom bam. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? Anyway. Uh, I think I think we had some some solid advice and some very solid racing. Yes. Woo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Although maybe the advice was terrible because usually when we when we have good solid mm. racing, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. comes with, with that maybe advice. maybe do the opposite of everything you said. Maybe maybe maybe. But until next time. See you. Bye.
quality eighth place.